Hello Aries, welcome to your singles reading. I'm going to take a look at the person coming towards you, uh, what it will be like when you meet this person. We're going to get into this connection and also pull some physical features and get more about, you know, the person's characteristics and qualities. So please like and subscribe. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, you guys, and let's get right into this reading. Please only take what resonates and what makes sense and fits for you and whatever doesn't make sense or <laughs> make sense or fit please just leave it on out all right here we go single aries all right, there's been a lot of pain here, been a lot of breakups. A lot of you right now have been focusing on yourself, focusing on moving forward, embracing positive change. Uh, you guys are letting go of anyone who is mean, cruel, uh, someone out here who is just trying to win for themselves not thinking about you not putting uh you first not taking your thoughts your feelings your hopes and dreams into consideration uh not putting all the work that you put into relationships into consideration this is a time where this is a, a time for you to win aries this is all about you winning here positive changes destiny fate blessings abundance beautiful hope for the future when it comes to love so a lot of you healing right now definitely a healing journey uh being really patient with yourself releasing attachments as well all right so we have aquarius here we have scorpio taurus and leo let's take a look here Okay, so we have a solid foundation here. Four of Wands, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, and Justice. Okay, uh, this is someone who has definitely been through their fair share of struggle as well, Aries. I feel like this person that you're going to meet is well beyond that. They're beyond holding on to the past. They're beyond having toxic relationships to where you can't balance together. You can't come together. You can't communicate together. This person is there. This is their mindset. This is what they want. And this is what they're ready for. This person wants happiness. They want to be able to celebrate with their person and be happy. They want to build happiness with their person. Nothing is going to hold this person back. I also feel like this person really wants harmony in their home, harmony in their relationship. Like they're not out here to play games. They're not out here to just have that consistent up and down, not knowing when another argument's going to happen because over the smallest little thing, this person has matured over things that they've been through starting anew. They've also taken their time, taken their time to think, to grow from their experiences, Aries. And this person is ready to fully commit to someone. They've also been through their own healing journey as well. And I feel like this person is going to want to take time. This person isn't going to want to rush, move things too quickly, but they're definitely ready to build here to start over uh, with you. They're ready for a new beginning here. This person is very honest, very upfront. This person is very big into family. Okay. So we have Libra here. This person loves to travel. This person loves to talk and they may fall uh, pretty quickly here. The feelings here are going to grow um, rapidly here. Yeah, I had to look at the bottom. Page of Cups. Yeah, this person is definitely going to be really into you. They're going to be really sweet, really kind, really romantic, flirtatious, very fun, very gentle. But they love to communicate. This person also has a very freaky side. Uh, this person uh, has a lot that they're holding on to and they want to express with the person they want to be with. So this person has a lot of desires. This person likes to try new things here, but this person is also very grounded, okay? Very stable. So it's not all just passion and lust and wanting to try out new things. 
this person wants to do things right here, Aries. This person is serious. Uh, this person has a sense of humor, fun. Uh, they love to laugh. They love to try new things. They love to just get out and go and do whatever, right? Go for a ride, go for a drive. This person just loves to live in the moment. You have Capricorn here, Aquarius again. Aquarius is coming through pretty strong in your reading. I see you and this person sending a lot of texts back and forth, flirting, being really cute with each other. Get more here. Okay. We have Pisces here. This person has a big heart. Definitely ready to love. That's coming through very strongly here. This person is also very secure. They love children. This person may want to be a father someday if they're not already. This person may have kids. This person is a very hard worker. This person can go through things and just, it's like they keep that brave face. They're going to keep doing what they need to do for the person that they love, for their family. You know, they're, they're a very solid person, Aries. Okay, this person doesn't give up. They don't give up when things get tough. They only prosper. They continue. They move forward. They move up. This is the kind of person that's coming towards you. Someone who's ready to move up and forward because they're dedicated, committed, focused. And remember what I was saying about patience? This person will be very patient, will be very understanding. But in that process, showing you what you need to see. All right. This person also, they know how to maintain. They know how to make time. This person may have a busy schedule. This person may work a lot, but they work very hard and it pays off Aries. And I see the two of you very happy together. This is what this person also wants happiness. They just want a family. They want to just enjoy life. Beautiful energy here. Okay. So you have Pisces and Virgo here. Let's take a look. I want to look at how you two will be together. Okay. So you have the Knight of Cups, the world. How many is that? Way too many. Okay. Moving on from the past, letting go of past, starting over new together. There's the Knight of Cups. There he is. This is what you two are offering each other. Love, romance, happiness, and enjoying every little bit of this journey together. I feel like the two of you have learned a lot of your lessons and are not repeating your lessons. So it really helps elevate this connection forward. Why? There's the world. Because your chapters here... The things that you've been through, this person has been through, it's only going to help you to move forward. You've left those chapters behind. You've completed them. And now you're ready for a new journey together. This is the new chapter here. Let's get one more. Beautiful. The new chapter is full of happiness, abundance, love, new beginnings with this person, solid new beginnings with this person. So this is a very secure relationship, a very strong relationship, a very happy relationship, and one that is so exciting because it does feel like a new chapter. It's like it's all coming to this. It all led to this, this new beginning. This person is going to be really charming, good looking, very confident. I feel like you're really going to enjoy talking to this person. A lot of flirtation here. So let's get some features. Okay. This person may be bald or have a shaved head, straight hair, blue eyes, and green eyes. Okay. Let's see. More about this person coming towards Aries. This person has a cat. They may love animals. 
has dreams about you. So when you two meet, it's going to be that constant, I miss you. Like when you guys go on a date, and that romantic night or day is over. They're going to text you right away. Tell you that they're thinking about you. Their first name begins with a vowel. They enjoy tarot readings. Is an only child. Lives in a warmer climate. Okay. Get more about this person. Ooh, okay. I'm going to take this one. Long hair, wavy, braids, straight, loose curls. Okay. This person is stocky, solid, husky, may have a beer belly. Distinct facial features, eyes, lips, mole, and freckles. Something you may notice about this person. This person may be toned. They have a nice walk. They have long legs. We have initials here. I, Z, C, Q, N, and L. Okay. CEO, an entrepreneur, financially stable, successful. This is a hard worker here. This person is all about business, but they know how to balance. They know how to maintain. They know how to be fair. <clears throat> Suit and tie, successful again, a businessman or woman, someone who likes to dress up. Let's get one more. Skin tone, olive, medium, or dark. Okay, let's get more. More about this person coming towards Aries. Libra. This person has a message for you. Yeah, they're going to message you a lot. Definitely staying in contact. You have blue eyes twice here black hair afraid there may be some reservations here about getting back out there and dating making someone really weak cracking that egg someone here may have a tough exterior like they're really um it's like taking a lot of time here with getting to know you because this person has been through a lot aries they have had their fair share they definitely understand uh going through some hard relationships here uh but i feel like once that egg cracks this beautiful connection here i mean it makes you two only stronger <laughs> you know like weaken the knees for each other but the relationship here is very secure very strong very beautiful uh really letting go of the fears letting go of that past Get two more. Brown eyes and soulmate. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this one first. Let's do these. What about this person. Relationship commitment partner boyfriend girlfriend yeah this person is they're gonna know they want to be with you but just take the time this person may love music may be a musician there's that harmony they like things to be peaceful smooth happy easygoing someone here may feel ghosted disappear silence rejected ignored there could be someone that you may have been dating here and they had fears of moving forward fears of commitment so they're very afraid here so they may have pulled back that's for some of you oh okay one two life after love and unchained love so energy here really feeling free feeling liberated and ready to have a new journey in love, have a solid connection, knowing that there is life after heartbreak, after healing, 
There's still love, feeling free and ready to embrace it, enjoy it. What's the energy here? Okay. For Aries. Tidal wave, disturbance. Yeah, there's definitely an issue here with someone you may have been dealing with, Aries. A lot of eruptions, chaos, issues, fear, being afraid. Transition. You're making a transition. There's a new door, new opening here. That's that ace of pentacles that you have in this reading. New beginning here for you. Bread. Hospitality, kindness, harmony, peace, thoughtfulness. This is a relationship that is going to be really nourishing. It just feels... It just feels really solid. really feeling and seeing growth here with this person like it's going to be noticeable you are going to see um things you've learned things they've learned and how it can really elevate the two of you up in this connection so it's really beautiful the way that you two really take care of each other here because again feelings are going to feel like going to uh, evolve here kind of quickly but i still see you and this person taking the right time that feels right for the two of you when it comes to this transition from what you both have been through right those tidal waves those to toxic relationships just wanting to have something that just feels right, where you two can just go out, sit down, you know, and just, it's warm, it's peaceful, it's, it has that beautiful harmony here. All right, on the bottom, 666, raise your vibration, choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. No more this. No more tidal waves. No more people who can't control emotions. No more arguing over anything, nothing, little things. This is the time of peace and harmony. That beautiful bread, right? Nourishing, fulfilling. Like it fills you up, it makes you happy. You have the peace that you deserve. So choose peace and harmony for yourself and with others. Watch out for those snakes. That's the forbidden door. All right. Let's see. The fledgling. Again, everything that you and this person have learned, when you two talk, you may really connect on how similar your situations were and how you both have learned from that. I think that's really going to bring the two of you closer together. Okay, that those lessons learned are going to create a strong um, spark between the two of you and really what you're going to create together, start together. All right. Chapter one and the end. This is all about the middle, where you started, where you're going to be, and how you end up in this connection. It's really up to you. It's up to you and this person. Okay. Someone feels like a bystander here. There's definitely someone here that's really jealous. There's definitely someone here who's going to be really envious of you moving on, especially you doing your thing, looking good and choosing peace and harmony, raising your vibration. This person may take notice here 
And again, when they see you with this person, they're not going to be happy. We have a snake charmer here. You had that snake pop up there as well. Yeah, I feel like this person comes with lusty uh, energy. I feel like you've forgiven this person many times, given them a try many times. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. You're free. Unchained love. You are not bound. You are free. You are choosing peace. You are choosing hap happiness. You are choosing harmony. Aries, this is a time for uh, a lot of things to happen when you least expect it, but for you to fully enjoy it. That's the feeling here. Okay, let's see. All right. You have trust here. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. A strong connection to your soul's loving voice and having faith in your intuition. Those feelings you get. Those warning signs, those red flags, people who are only there to win, to gain, people who will ghost, disappear, fear of commitment, building trust here with this person who is ready to love and ready to build, to build trust. All right, let's see if we can get a timing card here when you may meet this person, if you haven't already. For Aries. In November. All right. Here we go. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. To someone who has no fears. To someone who will care about how you feel. How you want to proceed when dating. When it comes to a relationship. Spreading that kindness. Give your attention to another. There's someone here will want a relationship with you to be your partner to show you that kindness to give that back so there's beautiful potential here with the new door that's opening for you in love feeling unchained free and your intuition leading you and guiding you the way <laughs> okay so that's what I got for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.